Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. So today we are going to discuss a problem which is motivated from a very standard problem which we are going to find in almost every book where a rod will fall from a certain height and after collision with the ground we calculate the angular velocity of uh, the rod. So uh, let's go to the statement of uh, this particular problem. Here it is uh, given a quarter of the solid sphere of mass m and radius r is falling from a height h as shown in the figure. So this height is uh, given as uh, h. The collision is perfectly elastic. The initial orientation of, uh, of the sphere is taken in such a way that the plane surfaces of quarter sphere are in horizontal and vertical planes and the curved surface is uh, below the horizontal uh, plane surface as shown so we can refer uh, this diagram and its uh, side view is uh, also given here so in this orientation we are going to release this uh, sphere from a height of h what will be the angular velocity of the sphere just after collision so let's uh, start with the, the discussion of uh, this problem So as uh, this sphere will come in contact with the ground, there is going to be a force which will be acting, which is normal reaction, which is going to provide an impulse of uh, J. I'm giving this name as J. And due to which there will be change in uh, linear velocity of center of mass as well as uh, some changes will come in the angular velocity of uh, this sphere. This angular velocity only we have to calculate. Since this uh, quarter of the sphere is part of the original uh, sphere here, so about this axis which is passing through this uh, center O into the plane, uh, its moment of inertia form is going to be same only which is 2 by 5 mr square. Okay, And at the time of uh, collision velocity of uh, center of mass of original piece will be V0 is equal to root 2gh. Also, we need to uh, see the location of uh, this uh, center of mass because in case of standard uh, hemisphere that is uh, on the symmetrical axis at a distance of 3r by 8 from the uh, center of the sphere. So by using same logic we can easily uh, guess that uh, center of mass uh, location will be equal uh, from these two lines equal from these two plane surfaces and that distance is going to be 3r by 8 just by slight imagination you can uh, find this result now here we will be using impulse uh, momentum theorem and according to which uh, impulse is equal to change in linear momentum so here either we can take uh, upward direction as positive or we can write this equation in vector form itself so if I'm taking upward direction as positive, so impulse is equal to plus j. That is equal to P final. Final linear momentum of the system is minus mv1. And uh, initial uh, linear momentum is plus mv0. Plus mv0 is coming because minus of minus mv0 we are writing. That's how so this equation will become plus j is equal to minus mv1 plus mv0. We'll be calling it as uh, equation number one now similarly about uh, center of mass we can write angular uh, impulse equation also which is going to be j into x is equal to uh, icm into omega where icm is where icm is uh, moment of inertia about an axis which is uh, perpendicular to the plane of the paper and passing through the center of mass now this ICM calculation can be done by using a parallel axis theorem between this uh, axis O and axis passing through center of mass. These two axes are uh, parallel to each other. So I can write IO is equal to ICM plus M into this distance whole square. This distance is root 2x. So therefore, this uh, result I can uh, obtain from here I will get the value of uh, moment of inertia about an axis passing through center of mass so which will be giving us uh, value as icm is equal to i naught minus m times root 2 x whole square uh, 
so x value is known to us that is uh, 3r by 8 so on substituting this moment of inertia about center of mass will be known to us now here there are two things since it is given collision is elastic so either we can use uh, kinetic energy conservation k initial is uh, equal to k final or also we can use uh, definition of coefficient of restitution so i'm using definition of uh, coefficient of restitution which is uh, one for elastic collision and it's uh, equal to velocity of separation by velocity of approach along the common normal so easily we can uh, see uh, ground is at rest and sphere uh, is approaching with the velocity of v naught so approach velocity i'm writing it as uh, v naught now if you look at uh, this point the separation velocity of this point will be r omega sin theta it's a vertical component r omega sin theta and this v1 is in downward direction so this point the point of collision will be separating the ground with the speed of r omega sin theta minus v1 so from here also we will be obtaining one equation now we have three equations and three unknowns when we solve it on solving we will be obtaining this answer which is omega is equal to 240 by 83 times root of 2gh by r square this is going to be the answer of this problem if you have uh, liked these videos uh, please uh, share with your uh, friends teachers and motivate me to make uh, more such videos also don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you